Hello all, welcome back. Today we will deal with the structure of the bacterial flagella. Before going to the structure, we will see some of the important features of the bacterial flagella which we have already discussed in the previous video. Okay, so bacterial flagella are helically shaped structures containing the protein flagellin. It's also known as globular protein, also known as H antigen. So flagellin is known as globular protein or H antigen. Okay, so they have helically shaped structures. So, the flagella is a lash like appendage that protrudes from the cell body of certain cells termed as flagellates. So, from the flagellates, flagella will protrude out. A flagellate can have one or more flagella. Flagella is not at all straight. Flagella is helical. Size of the flagella is 15 to 20 nanometer in diameter. Most important function is mobility. Response it is responsible for motility. So, single flagella can be seen with a light microscope only after staining with a special stain and that will increase the diameter of the flagella. So, we cannot see with the naked eye. We can see through the light microscope only after staining the flagella with a special stain and with that staining, it will increase the diameter of the flagella which help us to view the flagella. Okay. So, these are some of the most important points of the bacterial flagella. Now coming to the structure of the flagella, mainly it has three body parts, basal body, hook and the filament. So the basal body, there is a central rod, here you can see MS ring, C ring is there, outer ring is there, L ring is there, P ring is there and it is in the inner membrane, periplasmic space and the outer membrane and from there hook, from the hook to the filament, so tip of the filament is it's also called as tip. So, basal body, hook and the filament, these are the three major parts of the flagella. So, in the basal body, we can see several rings like L ring, P ring, MS ring and C ring. So, central rod is there in the center. The basal body is in the periplasmic space. This is the st structure of the bacterial flagella. So, as discussed, Major three parts, basal body, hook and the filament. So, basal body is composed of central road. Outer ring is called the L ring that is present only in gram-negative bacteria and it is anchored in the lipopolysaccharide layer. Second is the P ring that is the second ring that is anchored in the peptidoglycan layer of cell wall. Third is the MS ring that is anchored in the cytoplasmic membrane. Fourth is the C ring that is anchored in the cytoplasm. So, different rings are there. These are very, very important. L ring which is the outer ring. So, the outer ring is the L ring that is present only in gram-negative bacteria. It is not present in gram-positive bacteria. So, what is the difference between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria? You already know, gram-positive which gives a positive stain, positive result when staining, which gives a negative result when staining is gram-negative bacteria. So, it is anchored in the lipopolysaccharide layer, L ring. P ring is anchored only in the peptidoglycan, MS ring in cytoplasmic membrane, C ring that is in the cytoplasm. So, most important thing is flagellum rotates in both direction, that is in clockwise and in anti-clockwise direction. So, these are the three major parts, basal body, hook and the filament. This is the basal body. Next is the hook, that is the most wider region at the base of the filament, hook is present. It connects the filament to the motor protein in the base. Hook always connects the filament to the motor protein in the base. So, which will connect the filament to the motor protein in the base? You will say hook. So, length of hook is longer in gram-positive bacteria than in gram-negative bacteria. Okay, so length is longer in gram-positive. Next is the filament, that is the end part. It is thin hair-like structure arises from the hook. So, finish the three ma major parts, right? Basal body, hook and the filament. Here, I have mentioned O antigen and H antigen. What is that? H antigen, you have already seen the most part of the flagella, flagellin protein, that is called the H antigen, that is a slender thread like structure, that is also the part of the flagella. Next is the O antigen, what is that? That is the outermost portion of the bacteria surface covering, that is called the O antigen. So this is the difference between O antigen and the H antigen, don't confuse with that. O antigen is the outermost portion of the bacteria's surface covering, H antigen is a slender thread like structure, that is also a part of the flagella. So these are the different important points of the flagella and the basic structure of the flagella. So, we will see in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.